Growing mushrooms on small farms is an interesting process. However, when millions of mushrooms are needed to be sent to supermarkets, the scale has to be increased. That's where large fields and factory settings come in, where millions of mushrooms are cultivated, grown, and harvested. Almost everything is done automatically, using modern machinery. But how are hands replaced with machines, especially when something like mushrooms is being grown? In what factory settings are mushrooms grown, taken care of, and harvested? Above all, how are they processed and sent to supermarkets for you to buy and enjoy? Welcome back to another exciting episode of our channel. The Mechanicals brings you engineering marvels and little-known farming techniques that are revolutionizing the world in one way or the other. If you are new to the channel but enjoy learning about how technology and innovation are shaping the world's future, you will love to watch the videos we post on this channel. In this video, we will tell you how mushrooms are grown and processed using modern mushroom farming technology. Let's get started. The first step is substrate preparation. In mushroom cultivation, substrate preparation is a series of steps followed to create the perfect growth medium for mushrooms. This involves selecting, blending, and treating specific organic materials to provide the necessary nutrients and conditions for successful mushroom cultivation. In large-scale mushroom cultivation within factory settings, a sophisticated substrate preparation process is seamlessly integrated through modern machinery and technology. The process starts with handling raw materials, including agricultural byproducts such as straw, corn cobs, and organic wastes, which are sourced from dependable suppliers. These materials are then stored in designated areas, often in silos or storage bins, guaranteeing a continuous and ample supply for cultivation. Then, automated mixing and composting are done using precise batch systems to achieve an optimal substrate composition. Compost turners and mixers automate the blending process, facilitating a microbial-friendly environment during phase one composting. This phase is characterized by controlled temperature and moisture levels, allowing microbes to break down organic matter over several weeks. Following the completion of phase one composting, pasteurization is carried out using methods like steam or hot water to destroy potential contaminants and pathogens. The cooled substrate undergoes conditioning to attain the ideal moisture content. Inoculation comes next, introducing mushroom spores or mycelium through automated machines to ensure even distribution with stringent hygiene measures in place to prevent contamination. The inoculated substrate enters phase two composting, where temperature and humidity are meticulously monitored to further condition it for mushroom growth, sustaining microbial activity and undergoing additional transformations. Quality control and monitoring incorporate automated sensor systems that track critical parameters such as temperature, moisture, and CO2 levels throughout the process. Data logging is employed for real-time adjustments. Transport within the facility uses automated conveyor systems to minimize manual handling, and the prepared substrate is stored in silos or containers for transfer to growing rooms. The next step is the incubation process. Before we continue further, Tell us, are you loving the video? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel for more videos where we unveil breathtaking engineering and farming techniques. Let's continue now. During this process, the substrate, inoculated with mushroom mycelium, is placed in a controlled environment. Throughout this stage, the mycelium grows, colonizing the substrate before progressing to the fruiting stage. In large-scale mushroom cultivation within advanced factory settings, the incubation process is a crucial step designed to create controlled environmental conditions that promote the colonization of the substrate by the mycelium before the onset of mushroom fruiting. The preparation of growing rooms begins with the installation of advanced environmental control systems that meticulously regulate key parameters like temperature, humidity, and fresh air exchange. This establishes an optimal setting for mycelial growth Subsequently, the inoculated substrate, prepared during the substrate preparation phase, is transferred to the growing rooms through automated conveyor systems, minimizing manual involvement and ensuring an even distribution. Precision systems take the reins in the next phase, maintaining precise control over temperature and humidity within the growing rooms. This control is crucial for facilitating the thriving of the mycelium and its effective colonization of the substrate. 
you should know that different mushroom species may require specific conditions during incubation. Advanced ventilation systems come into play to ensure proper air exchange within the growing rooms, which is essential for sustaining optimal oxygen levels and removing metabolic byproducts generated during mycelial growth. Automated monitoring systems then track the progression of mycelial growth, with the duration of incubation varying based on the mushroom species and desired growth stage. These systems assist in determining when the substrate is fully colonized and ready for the next phase. Sensor technologies continuously monitor critical parameters such as CO2 levels, microbial contamination, and substrate moisture content, ensuring quality control throughout the incubation process. Automated data logging systems further facilitate real-time adjustments, then comes the fruiting process. The substrate, fully colonized in the preceding incubation phase, undergoes a meticulous transfer to dedicated growing rooms or chambers within the facility. This transfer is typically automated, using conveyor systems to minimize manual handling and ensure an even distribution of the substrate. These growing rooms are equipped with advanced environmental control systems to maintain optimal conditions for mushroom fruiting. This includes precise regulation of temperature to stimulate the initiation and development of mushroom fruiting bodies, with specific temperature requirements tailored to different mushroom species during this phase. Additionally, maintaining elevated humidity levels is crucial for successful fruiting, with automated systems controlling and adjusting humidity to create an environment that facilitates mushroom development. Automated lighting systems replicate natural light cycles, including alternating periods of light and darkness, significantly triggering the fruiting process. Adequate air exchange and ventilation are crucial within the growing rooms to supply the necessary oxygen for mushroom growth and eliminate carbon dioxide produced during metabolic processes. Advanced ventilation systems ensure proper air circulation throughout the growing environment. Misting systems are often deployed to enhance humidity and create favorable conditions for mushroom fruiting. These systems release fine droplets of water into the air, sustaining the required moisture levels on the substrate's surface and supporting mushroom development. Automated sensor systems continually track temperature, humidity, and CO2 levels within the growing rooms. This data is logged and analyzed in real time, allowing for precise adjustments and optimization of growing conditions, ensuring consistency and minimizing the risk of human error. Under the controlled conditions of the growing rooms, the mycelium initiates the formation of mushroom pins, the early stages of mushroom development. These pins gradually mature into fully grown fruiting bodies. Then comes the harvesting process. Automated systems equipped with sensors are utilized to identify the maturity of mushroom clusters based on factors like size, color, and cap development. This automated detection ensures that harvesting takes place at the optimal time, maximizing both the quality and yield of the mushrooms. It's because not every mushroom would have reached the maturity period. Therefore, sensors assist in harvesting only those mushrooms that are fully grown. Large-scale operations often deploy mechanical harvesters equipped with precision cutting blades. These machines steer through cultivation beds, selectively cutting mature mushroom clusters, this method enhances the efficiency of the process, ensuring a quick and accurate harvest without causing damage to the surrounding substrate. Then comes the processing phase. Following harvesting, automated conveyor systems transport the mushrooms away from cultivation beds, reducing manual handling and maintaining a continuous flow for subsequent processing. While machines handle the initial cutting and transportation, human labor frequently participates in subsequent stages. Workers inspect the harvested mushrooms for quality, permitting only the finest specimens to proceed in the processing chain. After harvest, the mushrooms undergo a thorough cleaning and trimming process, utilizing automated systems to eliminate any remaining substrate, debris, or unwanted material, ensuring a consistent appearance free of irregularities. Automated grading and sorting systems then come into play, categorizing mushrooms based on criteria like size, shape, and quality. This meticulous process ensures that mushrooms with similar characteristics are grouped together, streamlining packaging and distribution for consistency. The automation extends to packaging, 
where advanced systems sort and package mushrooms based on predetermined criteria such as weight or size, ensuring efficiency and uniformity throughout this phase. Quality control measures are rigorously implemented throughout processing, utilizing advanced technologies like imaging systems and sorting algorithms to identify and eliminate any defective or substandard mushrooms. This stringent approach guarantees that only high-quality produce makes it to the market. Post-harvest handling makes use of modern technology, including controlled atmosphere storage techniques. This involves maintaining specific environmental conditions, such as temperature, humidity, and gas composition, to extend the shelf life of harvested mushrooms and preserve their quality during storage and transportation. In the end, these freshly packed mushrooms are transported to supermarkets and are available for customers to buy. Have you ever seen gigantic farms and factories where farming and processing are being done? What mushrooms would you like to eat? The ones grown on small farms by small farmers, or those grown on big farms using modern technology? In the comment section right below, let us know whether you ever tried growing mushrooms in your garden. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get more videos on technological feats and farming advancements that are changing the world. Until the next video, stay tuned.